This video, I'm going to show you how to model a uh, an HDB precast building. So, uh, to find more about uh, HDB precast building, you can just simply Google HDB Singapore. So, this uh, HDB is a standard housing here in uh, Singapore. Okay, uh, let's start with this model. Um, I have the uh, grid line here. And um, I can just simply add the... Uh, drawing or dwg okay i'll just turn on that one or you can insert a dwg so this one is an hdb uh, uh, a block of hdb so as you can see here you have a uh, different uh, elements here in dwg format okay okay so um in this case um i'm not going to model that one uh, um one by one or using the uh, element by element but uh, i'm going to use a macro for uh, the HDB. So we have created here in uh, Southeast Asia a, uh, a uh, system component for HDB. Since HDB is something like uh, a standard here in Singapore, so most of the precaster here are doing this uh, uh, HDB. So we created the macro and then you can find that one now in our warehouse. This one is just uh, newly uh, uploaded uh, macro in the Intecla structure or yeah Intecla structure warehouse okay just download it and then install it and then once you install it you can have the uh, you can go now to the application and uh, uh, component okay under the application and component you will find the uh, HDB component which is this and uh, as you can see here you have this HDB AC ledge or if I can just simply double click on this so you can see uh, these are the different uh, elements in uh, 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 to be used in a HDB precast building. So this one is the aircon ledge. So you have the parts. Okay, you have this uh, HDB beam, right? So with the packet, uh, HDB civil defense uh, shelter, or they call it as a CD shelter or household shelter. So this one with some uh, ventilation and holes and parts and then uh, hdb column wherein you can uh, see that uh, you can change this one to one tier or two tier column you have the option to uh, to add also the splice leaves and also some connection to the column and then the uh, hdb precast duct okay so and then uh, you have this uh, facade, the famous uh, facade for the HDB, wherein uh, you have the canopy, the seal, and the uh, uh, connection at the end or the side, the features. So you will have it. And also another thing here is uh, there is a uh, HDB facade uh, with the option of uh, one opening or two openings. So here uh, you have created one opening, if one opening, so this is the uh, option and two opening or there's some case three and case four and so on so features uh, rebar information and then uh, uh, we have also this uh, uh, l-shaped fa facade so left or right uh, bending yeah with an opening one opening or two opening as well gable end wall Okay, with the insulation, hollow wall is another thing, and then <clears throat> infill wall. So you have the uh, option to change the uh, the beam in the infill wall, and then what else? You have the uh, HDB uh, parapet. I can change the head, and then the uh, the canopy. And then special option with the volumetric wall. So it will change the option here. Just simply select this without the wall or become a volumetric wall or with some opening on the parapet. <clears throat> also the uh, the planks or the LPS. The repute shoot. Okay. And then the uh, the staircase. So here in staircase, uh, we have a standard number of threads. So we just simply uh, 
select the uh, number of threads here and then it will add in our model so i do have also this uh, sunbreaker and that's all so <clears throat> what uh, we're going to do now is uh, we can add now the uh, uh, the facade first okay so i'll just simply show you how to use it so basically uh, if you if you create this uh, facade using the elements so you need to model that one one by one so here you have a wall and then you have the opening so you need to add uh, the different details on this but in this case since we have this hdb component so all i have to do is to choose the uh, the facade wall open it and then here I can just simply click one and then two, okay, here, two, and uh, whatever you can see here in the, uh, in our uh, dialog box can be found here. So if I control two, so this one will have also the, uh, the reinforcement. So now, as you can see, you have all this, uh, parameters that you can find in our uh, system component wherein if you change let's say for example i am going to change here to 1000 so the opening will become small and then look at the reaction of the reinforcement modify so the reinforcement changes okay so 500 and then modify so if i want to have a uh, other option like let's say uh, the details let's say for the canopy i want this kind type of canopy then modify so i'm going to have okay maybe not this one uh the custom profile uh custom profile meaning i can just simply change the uh the size of this one so let's say for the uh okay let's say choose the uh canopy 300 and then modify then here you can change the the size of the canopy so let's go back to the original then you have now the canopy again if i want to have some features here let's say i don't want this feature i'll select this one modify then there's no feature there so you can uh, add and remove that options also for the beam you have the size of the packet here so as you can see here, the details, the size of the packet, you can change. Let's say if this one is uh, 100, a uh, modify, so it changed 400. And for the end connection, so here, you simply click, and then you can have a different uh, connection here. All right? So more or less the standard... Uh, uh, what do you call that standard uh, options uh, according to the uh, of course according to the HDB uh, standards is uh, already captured here in the uh, Tecla structure uh, system component or HDB system component and if you have some options or if there's some uh, information that uh, is not available in this uh, facade then of course you can always explode and what you can do is just simply modify that one manually. The good thing is you have these uh, system components that uh, you can use to, uh, to start your project. This one is very good for your tender works. Okay, so let's say I'm going to use the other option here, which is the uh, opening, two openings. So if I say uh, K1F4, which is this one. So if you notice here, I have some attributes that save already, so I will just simply load it. And then here, the opening, I have two opening. If I pick this point and the other uh, end point, so immediately I have now this uh, facade with two opening. Now, you will notice here that the, the this facade two opening, you can see that there is a mesh here. So I have created a rule here inside the system component that if, if uh, this one is 500 or less then, uh, or less than 500, then this uh, uh, mesh will change to uh, a loop bar 
or links. If it is more than 500, 500 or more, this one become uh, a mesh. So now let's say I'm going to change this one to 450 and then modify. So you will notice that this one changed to link. If this one changed to uh, 500, modify, then this one changed to um, a mesh. Okay? So that's the thing that you can do in a system component. So now, <clears throat> this is, these are the two examples of the uh, uh, HDB uh, uh, element, which is the facade with one opening and the facade with two opening. Now, let's say I want to add this CD shelter. Okay, this one is the one of the famous uh, precast element in in Singapore. This uh, household shelter or the bomb shelter, they call it a bomb shelter. So here I can just simply go to this uh, CD shelter. Just double click on this one. Again, I'll just simply select, uh, let's say HS uh, one. Just load, apply and then pick the position 1 and then 2 so as you notice here just simply click 1 2 I have already the CD shelter and then the best thing here is if I press control or shift 2 you can see that the massive amount of reinforcement this is how the CD shelter in uh, uh, standard in HDB that uh, you, you can see a lot of uh, reinforcement inside this uh, precast element okay Alright, so now the other option is the other side of the CD shelter doesn't have a, a back wall. So what I should do is I will call another attributes load. So here I have the option with back wall or without back wall. So this time I don't have the back wall. I just simply apply this one and then pick one and then two. Then there you go. So you have now the other uh, side of the CD shelter. All right. Okay, and then the other thing, let's say, for example, this uh, uh, repute shoot. Just look for the uh, repute shoot here. Uh, where is that repute shoot? Okay, here. Then all you have to do is just simply, because this one is a standard height and standard size, all you have to do is to click one point. All right and so on so a lot uh, most of the uh, HDB uh, elements are available here in our uh, precast HDB precast macro okay all right so uh, this is uh, how the uh, you you model it one by one all right now in case that uh, you want to uh, go further okay in the development once you have this uh, uh, precast macro in your library okay once you have this precast macro in your library uh, if you know some some uh, what you call that uh, um, programming uh, you can make you can uh, bring it further so let's say for example I want to have the auto model so meaning using the coordinate system okay so I will get the coordinate system of each and every element and then uh, you can put that one inside your uh, Excel <coughs> you can put this one inside your Excel file and then what you can do here is uh, you can specify the uh, the component name which is the the one I've shown you earlier the K1F series the PC or uh, the precast and then here you can see the the component ID and then you have the start X Y and Z uh, which is the uh, the the start point and then X Y Z end that is the end point and then this is the attributes name so in this case what you can do is if once you have this uh, Excel file then you can uh, create another application which is this one the uh, auto model so inside this auto model if i click this uh, precast component uh what it will do is it will read the uh, the excel file which is this okay it will read this uh, excel file from this uh, small application and then it will read the start and end of the particular component and then it will model that one in our uh, um, 
Tecla structure model. Okay, so uh, if now I'm going to press this model. So what I what I have done here is I have two floors of this uh, uh, one block of HDB. After we finish that one, then what we can do is uh, we will just simply copy another eight floor so that we can see the ten story building of this HDB building. Okay, so just one click. So as you notice here, uh, automatically it will. Uh, model it because uh, this uh, uh, application is reading the excel file and then the good thing is while modeling it you can rotate that one also all right so just uh, we'll just uh, wait for a while while it will uh, model all these uh, elements in um, in this uh, plan okay all right and you will notice here that reinforcement is also included. Yeah. So you can you can imagine if you if you are going to model this one one by one, it uh, it will take uh, some time for you to to finish this uh, this project. But uh, again, uh, the purpose of this uh, component is for you to can easily model an HDB. Uh, especially for tender stage this one is a very good uh, option for you so you don't need to uh, spend much time and the details will be available also okay so it's about to finish the uh, the two floors okay so I I'm going to close this uh, auto model application and then all I have to do is just simply uh, um, put it this way and then select maybe uh okay select the whole second floor and then just simply copy linear okay so maybe i'm going to copy another uh, eight uh, floors so this one let's say two eight um, two eight eighty two eight eighty five okay and then copy so there you go so now it's copying all the uh, second floor for another uh, eight floors. Okay. By the way, I just want to uh, to take this opportunity to to thank everybody who's supporting my uh, YouTube channel. Thanks for your uh, support and uh, 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 for your emails. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Okay, there you go. So now I have this 10-story uh, uh, building, the HDB 10-story building. So, um, of course, if you want to clean up, then I can just simply, you can just simply redraw so that uh, to remove all the, uh, the points. Okay, and then if you notice here, it becomes uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I will just add another uh, um, floors because my view depth is a little bit uh, low okay or let's say fit work area all right so i have now this uh, 10 story building right okay so in this case uh, you just model a 10 story hdb building using our uh, system of